Hello. In this video, I want to demonstrate deep integration of native instruments and 32 keyboard into Keycock, which will also work for all A keyboard from native instruments. And the keyboard has three different modes. Uh, native instrument mode is only working if you have an instance of complete control. Uh, so and then it can be activated and then everything will work as described in native instrument documentation and is the same in all doors and standalone complete control. Uh, there is MIDI mode which also works the same way in all doors uh, in which uh, knobs are then sending MIDI to the door and uh, this third mode, which is working for uh, doors as door control mode. And uh, in this video, I am only uh, exploring uh, this door mode because to other standard and uh, effectively the same for um, any doors. Yeah, so um, I will start with uh, 4D knob on the right side, tuning it, uh, move current cursor, left and right navigate through markers if you have them, up and down uh, select current track. Uh, then uh, with shift and pressing you can switch be between tracks and buses and in buses it will be the same so you can select the bus uh, and then control the fixes per channel models and, and all volumes spans and, and, and whatever so the same as with tracks so i will select tracks again uh, with loop button and using this knob you can select uh, time so you press loop turn left to select the beginning you press loop and turn right to select the end uh, once something is selected you can double press loop to uh, set selection as loop region and you can press double press quantize to select it as automatic patching uh, without double clicking so just pressing uh, toggle loop and uh, punch in so I will deselect so next uh, knobs um, in, in DOM mode, for seeing my native instruments, uh, indication match what, what is on display. So each uh, knob is strip, indicated by Y in Kickwalk, and you can control volume uh, and pen with shift. So current is four, and there yeah, are notice that. Uh, on display, it will just indicate what you what you are controlling, but there's no indication uh, which strip is current. So uh, current is four, but you uh, can see it here that it is four. Uh, for current strip, you can with shift also mute and solo. And all that happens in mixing mode. I have defined two more modes. I will mention later. So let's move to transport section, uh, loop and punch in. Uh, I have already uh, described. So uh, with shift auto is, is enabling right automation for selected strip. Um, Transport are working as expected, so play.
delay or stop. Also, plain pause uh, with addition that if it's paused and you press stop, uh, it's not moving to previous position but set uh, current position and then stop. Um, a record with shift you can record arm current track or disarm it. And then, yeah, so you can, yeah, record usually. Yeah, so undo, redo, are working as expected. Metronome is controlled by tempo button. There is a reason for that. So not metro button, but tempo button. Uh, just pressing it tunes on and off a uh, record metronome. Uh, double uh, clicking toggles playback metronome. Uh, the last button, so in metro button, is changing modes sub modes uh, inside door mode and uh, that is useful to control the fixes um, pro channel modules synthesizers uh, including synthesizers which are not uh, inside complete control and it is working with native kick walk kick walk na native in kick walk uh, plugin controlling uh, ACT. You will need to define so to map map controls yourself, and then uh, you will be able to uh, steer plugins um, any types of plugins. Uh, we what is what is controlled it, it can be selected by the um, 4D encoder left and right push. It switches between uh, affixes and uh, pro-channel models. For uh, synthesizers, it's a little bit different. You first have to um, select the track with, uh, with synthesizer and then press uh, for the encoder to, to bring uh, the interface in focus. Then uh, you can press metro button and uh, it will activate ACT mode. Uh, you press encoder for, for open scenes. If there is scenes, if there's, there, there's no scenes associated with, with track, uh, nothing will happen. If you uh, uh, open interface with complete control, then you can activate uh, native instrument mode. And it will be activated for this particular instance. So if I, in this instance, uh, I then close it and move to some other track, open another complete control and activate, then it's automatically selected for controlling. So it's not like automatic tracking. So if there's no interface, will not select so currently it's still the first one uh, the first instance is selected it's not automatically select instance by switching tracks but it's selected when you open an interface yeah so this is also third mode uh, which is single strip in which you can control with first knob, always the first knob, uh, volume or pen, uh, and uh, three uh, knobs, next three knobs are reserved for uh, um, sense, also volume and pen for send from this strip, also works for buses. And last four are user definable at the moment, I have defined them is horizontal zoom uh, and we shift a vertical zoom for current strip. Uh, also, I have um, defined uh, one 
more command inserting complete control instance. And uh, oops, uh, what the heck is that? Oh. No. Uh, uh, when when complete control is inserted, it's automatically switching to uh, native instrument mode uh, unavoidably, and Do is not informed really about that. So uh, if if not looking what what button late at the moment, it can be confusing. And uh, yeah, so I will undo or remove this trick. So that essentially. Yes, uh, except I, I have for this in the shift play uh, call save in kick walk. So I can quickly save the project at predictable time uh, without a moving mouse. Yeah, so thank you for watching and yeah, maybe till next time. Yeah.